Peace and love. This might be a one and only type of video. Talk at the same time. I don't know if that's my uh, strength or no. <laughs> Trying to do multiple things at once, but uh, we'll give it a shot. And if I trip and fall, y'all know it's because I was looking here and not at where I was going. But I'm gonna try to do both. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. As you can see, it's a beautiful day out, man. I'm, uh, the sky's beautiful, trees, nature. This is like, for me, this is like, uh, there's nothing like it, like just being outside and just at one with nature. You know, I feel like this is like <laughs> like God manifesting. You know, you know, just being able to see. All the beautiful creations, and, you know, from the sun shining to the clouds in the sky. I mean, minus the man-made ones. The trees, the flowers, the birds. Whatever these little blue bugs I've never seen before this year. They, I've never seen these before, so I don't even know what to call them. But they're blue and they're fast. I don't even know these. I'm going to have to look these up. But all of it is like... It's like it takes me back, you know. It's like as we get older sometimes, uh, of course we do away with childish things, but there's some things about our childhood that were key and were valuable. Little things like going outside to play. You found all kinds of little bugs when you were little. You played with them, you touched them, you didn't even know what they were. They were poisonous and they could sting you. You picked them up and ate, you ate the little berries off the trees. We don't know what that really was, but it didn't kill us. So, you know, shout out to God for them not being poisonous when we just ate them. <laughs> I used to do some wild stuff. I guess I could talk about it now. Now, I remember I used to get the leaves that were crushed. And, uh, like the, the dried up leaves. And I remember we used to, <laughs> we used to crush them up and roll them up in, in notebook paper. And we act like we were smoking, man. We like to die just hitting it one time. I don't know why we did it more than once, though. I don't know. I ain't going to put y'all names in here, those of y'all that did that with me. I ain't going to tell them y'all. <laughs> Y'all safe. I'm going to take this one for the team. But y'all know who y'all were. If we went to middle, Haynes Middle School together in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, you, you spoke there with me. If we, well, I say this. If we walked home from Haynes Middle School together, if we walked to school together, we done smoked leaves before. <laughs> so I just exposed some of y'all. Some of y'all going down with me. But no, nah, man, uh, you know, just being out here, though, it takes me back to a lot of that. Even being out here walking right now, I'm out here trying to get a little exercise. I haven't been feeling my best, but um, I've been trying to get out and walk, you know, just to get my adrenaline back um, and just get my, get my mind somewhere else other than just sitting in the house. Uh, but yeah, um... Just being out here, though, it just really takes takes me back and just makes me grateful and appreciative uh, for everything, man. You know, in life, sometimes 
we get so caught up in life and you know the the day-to-day -day things that we deal with and you know from work and bills and um family which can you know depending on how well you balance that it can become stress and anxiety and depression and all kinds of things so you know it's just um, when, you, when you think about that You know, it just makes you want to, um, sometimes it can just get you all out of whack, man. It just have you just going through the motions. And, uh, you know, it's easy to forget those little things to be thankful for, you know. And uh, is that the sun right there? That's beautiful. You know, I can't look at it, but I can look at it through the phone. It's crazy. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, so yeah, like, just being out here taking this walk, man, and just breathing this fresh air. And, you know, this is day four that I have been ill. been out of work this whole week so I feel like everything is divine though you know because I felt like it was I don't know it's just I've all I, I've been feeling you know with these videos I've been saying since that first one on my way to work that I know that work is temporary because I know my worth and I, I know who I am and uh Sometimes I believe that God puts us in positions to show us some things. So, being out of work for a week, uh, I know for a lot of people, and, and it's me and my wife are out of work uh, for the week, actually. Um, that can hit pretty hard, you know, to miss a week's worth of pay. Let me tell y'all something. That has not even been the least of my worries. I've just been appreciating just being able to sleep. You know? Like, that's little. That's something. Because I, I, I don't get a lot of sleep, you know, uh, now, a lot of times, like I say, like, I go to work, uh, you know, after I feel like I'm prepared mentally, but that doesn't mean I'm, like, sleeping until 12, 1 o'clock, and then waking up and, and going, I'm still up at 5 a.m., I'm just not going to work until... I mentally and physically feel ready to go to work. But the time that I'm at home, I try to spend that time figuring out what I can do for myself. Because the goal is to get free from the job. So I believe in this time that, you know, God has put me down in a sense from the job. But look, I'm up. I'm out, I'm walking, because it wasn't about the job. It's not about the job, and I'm not worried about the money that I'm missing, because money is not my motivation. The money will come, and the money has come. He has not failed me yet. I have not had to worry about a bill. I put my car in the shop. Let me see. I had tried to schedule an appointment for my car, like, back in July. It was like the check engine light came on back in July like maybe late June early July I called to schedule an appointment 
and uh, the earliest appointment they had at, uh, was August, Friday the 13th, August 13th, yeah, Friday the 13th, that was the earliest appointment they had, so I accepted it, right, so, um, and it's a quick story, I'm gonna try to make it quick anyway, but it ties into what I'm saying, like, I have not been worried or thinking about money at all, um, but, anyway, let me tell the story, and then you'll see what I'm saying, so, uh, so I scheduled that appointment, and it's like, like I said, it was like, like early July until August. I take the car. So I take my car that morning. It was like a 7.30 a.m. appointment. Uh, so I get there, and uh, they're like, well, we're going to do a diagnostic check, see what's wrong with this check engine light, and uh, we'll, we'll let you know. So they did that come back they had this list of things that's wrong with the car and I'm like oh man it came out to like almost two thousand dollars eighteen hundred dollars right and I'm like Shh. but each thing had like like broken down by you know like price or whatever so I'm like shoot I saw one thing on there that was like forty nine dollars it was a thing on there like twenty nine dollars and it was this thing like whatever it was uh Maybe fifty dollars or something like that. So I'm just looking at the three lowest things on there. Like, okay, let me check this out. Check this out, player. Let me just get this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> because man, I was not about to spend eighteen hundred dollars. All right. So they like, all right, well, we'll take care of that for you, Mr. Denmark. They even gave me a complimentary shuttle ride to work. They dropped me off at work. So bam, cool. So I get dropped off at work, go to work, work my day, and then, uh, so, when I get off, well, they called me from work and told me, well, they, they see like a, a text alert to say that your, your car is ready, right? And they're like, you can go ahead and pay online, so, I'm like, cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm expecting like, no more than like $130 based on the three items that I chose, right? So, tell me why I go look at my total to pay, and it's $598. $598. I told you I picked three things. That was like $49, $29, and whatever it was, it shouldn't have been over $120. I figured plus tax, $130, I'm good. Man, this total said $598. I call up there. I'm like, hey, hey, hold on, play. Now listen. When I talked to you earlier, I told you three things. I didn't want the eighteen hundred dollar package. I wanted three things. And um, well, they told me that uh, that the numbers that they showed me was only parts, not labor. <laughs> Plus. It was $225 for them to even check my car. They didn't tell none of this up front. They ain't said none of that. They didn't tell you none of that. So I see how these dealerships be running game. It was the Hyundai dealership, by the way. Oh, man. You try to do right by your vehicle and take them to their home where they can be treated right. And that's what you get. So, I got this $598 bill uh, for my car, and I'm, I'm off work, so. Uh, and then they don't even send a shuttle to come back and get me, to come back and get my car. So, I had to catch a ride from somebody. Uh, so, I caught a ride, get up there to get my car. But, now I am pissed about it because they just didn't explain it to me. But here's the thing. When I got there, I had already calmed down. I simply took out my credit card and I paid for it. Now, what's my point? My point is, although I was pissed off, I had the means to pay for it. I didn't want to spend that much money at one time on one day. 
for something that I thought I was only spending $120 for. But thank God I had it. Imagine if I didn't have it. Then what? You know? And it was one of those things like my credit cards, man, and I'm y'all, those of y'all that know me, we, we had that conversation the week of the week prior, not even knowing what was about to happen. I was telling everybody in my family, not everybody, in my household rather, that, you know, I had paid off all my credit cards down to zero balance, right? Zero balance. I didn't owe anything on my credit cards, right? Then that, you know? Um, but, I mean, just think about the divine timing of that I had, I guess, months ago, started the, the journey of like, man, let me get back on my feet, man. Because reality, man, and y'all, I'm, I might be telling too much, but I'm going to tell it, man, because y'all need to know what's real. I had... Um, in 2018, I was fired from a job, right? First time I ever been fired in my life. Grown man. Never been fired before. I didn't know how to take that. That hurt me. You know, it hurt my my pride. It hurt my, my ego, you know? It hurt my feelings. I've never been fired before. Like, I mean, at least, at least let me... Decide I don't want to work here anymore and put in a two-week notice. I've never been fired before. So, I mean, that did something to me. But it humbled me, too. Um, and uh, because the reason I got fired, I definitely was supposed to get fired. Like, it, it was it was my ego, you know. I got out of line. And uh, I wasn't as reserved as I am now I, I didn't have the, this knowledge that's for certain I did not have this knowledge that I have now back then so I was reckless man and uh man I really had heavy heavy texting fingers you know and I had went off on somebody man uh in a text message and they, they uh, showed it to the owner <laughs> It was a man. It was. I mean, I was a manager too. And uh, man, long, I mean, anyway, I don't even want to get on that. But I got fired, and uh, you know, I deserved it. But during that time, man, it was like I felt like I hit the bottom, man. Like that changed my income, but the bills were still coming. Uh, I uh, went on unemployment. Um, Twenty eighteen, yeah. Unemployment, um, and I had maxed out my credit cards just to live. I wasn't like making unnecessary purchases, but like just to survive, man. I was uh, using my credit cards, and so I had since 2018. I just been having my credit cards, just the debt, just sitting there. I've been back on my feet as far as working and making money again and putting money away, but I wasn't studying them credit cards. I was minimum, minimum payment in them joints. But uh, I had made up my mind some months back, like, brother man, come on, man. I, I made the choice to like sacrifice things, like purchases for myself, and pay my credit cards down. So, you know, I know y'all probably can't notice it or didn't notice it, but, I wasn't buying clothes. Of course, I was wearing DYIG every day. Not buying clothes. Not buying shoes. Uh, if I bought some shoes, they would have to be like 30 bucks or less. I bought some no-name brand shoes off of Amazon and stuff like that. Like, And I know to some people, they like, man, I could never do that. I'll never do that. But let me tell you, I don't really live by or think the way a lot of people think. I don't I feel like it's gonna be what I make it. Whatever I put on, them shoes is five dollars. They're gonna they're gonna be what I make it. Because of who I am, I add value to the shoe. But anyway, I don't wanna get on that because y'all ain't ready for me on that. <laughs> anyway, I decided not to spend money, man. And I put myself on this plan to pay off my credit cards. And I did that and I paid it off the week 
of my car appointment. I don't get this, man. I paid it off the week of my car appointment. I had just gotten paid, so I had my paycheck and everything. So it was cool. Nobody was ready to spend $600 like that. But thank God that I was prepared for that. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for the wisdom and the guidance and the knowledge for me to say, hey, man, let's get out of this low place and let's get back on our feet for real. Let's rebound. Um, so, said all I had to say, man. Be grateful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm enjoying this fresh air. Y'all, y'all don't even know it. This is the most laps I don't ever walk. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? But, man, I don't know. I feel good. I don't feel good, but I feel good. You know what I mean? Like, this is making me feel better, man. Just being out here in the sun. Getting some of the sunlight. I'm probably going to walk again. I already walked this morning, too. I walked. Let me see. I did one lap this morning, but my back was killing me. I couldn't do no more. If I'm not mistaken, this might be my fifth lap. I, I, I normally do three and sit it down, but I don't know. Y'all inspiring me today. I really wanted to get this message out before I went home. Like, it just take, take, taking me back, though, being outside, man, remembering those childhood things. I forgot where I was going with that while I told y'all the story about the money, uh, my car and stuff. I know I had a point, but I don't know. Just just being out here, though, taking me back to my childhood and, you know, just uh, being out, out here and, just enjoying nature, enjoying life. And not so caught up on bills. I think that's what it was. Not being so caught up on bills and worries. Fear, that's exactly what it was. Not having to worry so much. Like, like all that stress and drama and headaches. and Because you're worrying about stuff all the time. Like, as a kid, you didn't worry about nothing. We didn't have all the stresses and anxieties, man. The biggest stress or fear you had as a kid was was getting a whooping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, that was it. But that was only when you did something bad. It wasn't every day you went outside, you got a whooping, though. You know what I mean? Like, because you ain't want no whooping. So, you weren't bad every day. But... I miss those days a lot of times, you know, like just being a kid and just just being free, just no fear, you know what I'm saying? You're not afraid to fall down. You're not afraid to get a little scratch and, you know, you might cry or you may not because you, especially as a kid, you want to be like, that didn't hurt. You get back and like, that didn't hurt. Arm down there, bloody. That, that didn't hurt. You know, your biggest fear was getting alcohol put on some or you know, peroxide. Oh, you just fear that. Don't put no alcohol on it, mama. No, it's gonna burn. But yeah, we didn't have all the stresses and worries and fears, man. And you know, I'm not saying return to your childish behaviors. I don't think that would be wise. But just returning to your childlike spirit of just being, just being free, you know. And, not worrying so much. I think that this, this is what this moment being at home is, is teaching me and giving me time to just remember that. Like, I ain't got to worry so much, man. Like, thank God, you know, with my job that, you know, I can kind of make my own day, own schedule. Um, but at the same time, the, the end goal has been to get free, free from this job. So with that being said, man, I've been at home thinking of things I can do for self, more things I can do for self. I'm gonna put it out there, I got an ebook on the way. This was already, it was just something I had been sitting on. It, it's already completed. I don't know why I do that, but I be trying to time stuff out on all these timelines and stuff. But. I'm going to try to get that ebook on wrapped up and get that out there to y'all, man. 
Uh, but I, yeah, I got an ebook on Instagram. Uh, like for Instagram, uh, let's see how I want to explain. Like, just managing Instagram, managing your Instagram. Um, just some little tips. It ain't nothing too heavy. Just ways to, you know, just kind of utilize Instagram for your brand. Uh, so yeah, got that ebook on the way. A podcast. I ain't telling y'all today yet. I don't want to. I don't want to. But it's coming this month. It's September, baby. It's Virgo season. Y'all know my birthday this month. So, it's going down. A lot of big things going on this month. Like, this week, just give me time to prepare all those things that I've been sitting on. Now I can. I got time to sit still and line them up for y'all. Because as far as I know, I'm going to be down at least 10 to 20 days, they say. So, shit. Uh, I'm going to win. I'm going to survive. You know? Because that's what I'm born to do. It's in me. And he hasn't failed me yet. Every time I needed something, it's been right there. I ain't had to worry about it. I didn't have to worry about, oh, man, I'm going to pay this bill. I'm going to pay for my car. You know, I'm not here saying, oh, I'm going to pay my rent this month. Guess what? I got a check. Actually, I got two checks. One in my possession right now. The other one is being delivered to me within a couple of hours. Notice I say delivered. Somebody's bringing it to me because I can't leave home. <laughs> but, uh. I got two checks. Rent due. Rent paid. What's next? Who worrying? You're not worrying because I know I know how to get it. God has given me divine knowledge and skills to use my hands and my brain to manifest everything I need. And like I said before, it ain't no situation where I'm sitting down, looking up at heaven, waiting for in the sky, or rather, for God to drop some things down on me. Nah, I'm using my hands, my feet, my mind, putting them to use to bring about what I need. And uh, y'all got the same power. I always tell you, I'm no greater than y'all. Y'all got the same abilities, the same skills. And uh, now it's the time to tap into that. I'm not saying y'all got to get sat down from y'all job or nothing like that. Uh, I'm just down because I was ill. I've been ill. But man, y'all have the same potential, the same power. To do something for yourself. I challenge y'all to try to come up with one thing that you can do for self. What's the skill you got? What's the talent you got that can be converted into profit? Think about it deeply. And I always tell you, I'm available if you need to hit me up, ask me any questions, or get any guidance or advice on that. Hit me up. Let's talk about it. I'd love to help you get started. But, uh, my battery about to die, too, so I made it back home. I'll see y'all, man. Peace and love.